Have you heard about the Big Bang Theory? I know it is very complicated, you know? Like I keep on hearing about Big Bang Theory, Big Bang Theory. You know, I the new basics of it, you know, that there was nothing and the, there was a Big Bang and everything was created. And it is very confusing to me, you know, like, what do you mean by there was nothing and then the universe got created out of nowhere? You know, the beginning, what is the beginning is very, very confusing to everyone. And even scientists don't know what was there you know, before the beginning. People, you know, you know, don't take this thing very seriously, especially religious people. But I have like noticed that this Big Bang theory is kind of similar to what religions say. You know, in Christianity, they say, you know, God was there, God said, let there be light, and the universe was created, you know. In Hinduism, Lord Brahma, you know, Brahma was the one who created the universe, you know. In religions, there is God who is present since eternity, you know. The God was always there, and then God decided to create the universe. And in this Big Bang Theory, God is taken out of the equation and everything was created out of nothing, you know. And this is extra confusing, you know. Like, at least in religion, we can say there was someone who created everything, but out of nothing, everything created. How can that be possible, you know? You know we cannot imagine the beginning of time, beginning of everything, you know. How can that be possible? And there are still so many unanswered questions. But based on what we have understood, na, this theory was created. And this theory was created by George Lamartre, who is a very famous in a Belgium cosmetologist, who is also a Catholic priest. Na. So he was a cosmologist and Catholic priest, both scientist and a preacher. That might explain why his theory is similar to what religions say. Even though religious people are against this theory. Because it doesn't make much sense to anyone. Yeah. And scientists didn't accept this theory for a long time. You know, scientists used to make fun of this theory. You know, this Big Bang word was not created by George Lamatre. It was created by you now the scientists who were making fun of this theory. You know? Like people often say Hoyle, who is one of the founders of the steady state theory, you know, made fun of this theory. Okay, the big bang theory, okay, the bang happened. <laughs> you know, people used to use this word to mock this theory, you know, to make fun of it. But somehow this word stuck and this theory was named Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Before the Big Bang, you know, people used to believe this steady state theory where, you know, universe didn't have a beginning. Universe was always there, you know, since eternity. Just like God, universe was always there, you know. You know and that, like, this also creates confusion that if universe was always there, that means that time has no beginning, you know, because we always believe... Some time back, some time back, some time back, some time back. But how long will the time go? You know, what is eternity? You know, this concept of eternity is very confusing. You know, forever. You know, you know some say that no matter how much you far you go, know, there must be a beginning. You know, something happened, and afterwards everything happened. But some say no, this was always there. You know. This can create a lot of confusion and that is why now there is a lot of debate going on. No, this happened, that happened, that happened, that happened. <laughs> so I like thought of, you know, try to understand this a bit more. What is going on? Yeah. So, you know, the Big Bang Theory itself is very, very long and complicated, you know. It talks about subatomic subatomic particles you know how galaxies were formed how life was formed so entire theory is very big and complicated with very big big words and all you know, some of the words which i learned you know, 
when I was reading about it. But from what I have understood, I will try to explain in a very simple way. You know. So, Edwin Hubble, who is a very famous you know, cosmologist, astronomer, he was like studying the universe and he found out that you know, galaxies were you know, moving apart. You know, universe is kind of expanding. You know, he managed to prove it. Edwin Hubble proved that the universe is going bigger and bigger. Galaxies are moving apart and apart from us. So, if everything is moving apart, so there must be a time where everything was together, you know. And everything, this, before that, this was like this, you know. So, the, before Big Bang, everything was compact together. And then something happened as the universe started expanding. You know, some say it was just an expansion. Some say it was an explosion. So we don't know whether it exploded or it just naturally started moving, you know, blossoming like a flower. So when it started moving, you know, earlier it was in you know, a one strong force together, you know, and you know, there was no gravity, electromagnetic, everything was not there. It was just one combined force, you know, one combined energy together, and the energy started in you know, a separating from one another. Then a gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong magnet, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, all of them started separating from one another. And there was energy, you know, this energy so it was very, very hot, you know. Initially, the universe started in 13.7 billion years ago, where everything was very compact and hot, you know. It was billions of temperatures, degree Celsius temperature. So there was just energy initially. There was matter was not there. And the energy slowly, slowly started forming quarks, you know. The quarks are like the beginning of atoms, you know. These small subatomic particles where their quarks were there, leptons were there. And the quarks, you know, slowly, slowly started forming into hadrons. Hadrons are like the precursor of protons and neutrons. You know, if you are into this physics and everything, you must have heard about it. Like electrons, protons, neutrons. Atom, you know, the atom consists of you know, protons and neutrons in the center. And the electrons are moving around the you know, proton and neutron. Like imagine the sun. Now the protons and neutrons are the sun and the, all the planets are the electrons, you know. Just like Earth is moving, Mars is moving, Venus is moving, you know? Same way the electrons are moving around this, you know, proton-neutron. It is the main nucleus. So, you know? so before all this proton-neutron and everything, there were quarks, leptons. And along with, you know, quarks, there were anti-quarks as well. Have you heard about antimatter? <laughs> you know, antimatter we often like hear about it in science fiction, but antimatter you know used to exist back in those days. Even right now there is antimatter, but there is very very few amount of it. Why? Because there was a huge battle between matter and antimatter. Matter and antimatter are kind of enemies of each other. Matter consists of you know, protons and neutrons and electrons are moving around it. Antimatter consists of you know, antiprotons, antineutrons and around it are positrons. You know? Instead of anti-electrons, we call it positrons. So you know, they were like complete opposite force of one another and they were whenever they got close, you know, they were like... So when this thing has started happening, na, matter and antimatter started clashing with one another. And the, since matter was more than antimatter, you know, so matter won. And antimatter was like eradicated, you know. Clash of two clans, matter versus antimatter. Matter outnumbered antimatter, so matter won. So that is when everything is created by matter. You know, antimatter is very rarely found. 
एंड इफ देर इज टू मच एंटायर मैटर ना इट विल अगेन क्लैश विथ मैटर एंड थिंग्स विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड है ना है ना द यूनिवर्स विल गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड अगेन बट है ना द साइंटिस्ट दीज डेज आर ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट है ना एंटाय मैटर टू है ना क्रिएट बॉम्ब्स एंड एवरी थिंग सो एंटाय मैटर प्लेज अ ह्यूज रोल है ना दे कंबाइन मैटर एंड एंटाय मैटर टुगेदर फॉर द ह्यूज एक्सप्लोजन नेवर द लेस दीज देन अ कांड ऑफ बीग हैपनिंग बैटल हैपन है ना दीज वॉज द फर्स्ट बैटल है ना बिफोर ऑल दीज वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड वॉर्स एंड एवरी थिंग दीज वॉज द फर्स्ट यूनिवर्स वॉर्स battle of matters and when the matter won it slowly slowly started in a creating into various elements first element was in a hydrogen and helium i don't know which one of them was the first one some say hydrogen came first some say helium came first but whichever was there these two elements in a were like building blocks of the entire universe hydrogen and helium that is why they are present in majority and the hydrogen and helium formed in atomic clouds everywhere and the universe was becoming huge huge in a billions of area and this huge atomic clouds in a slowly slowly started forming in a galaxies these galaxies slowly slowly started forming stars the stars then started creating life Yeah. and everything started slowly slowly started evolving and getting created <laughs> very complicated na and most interesting fact is na all this battle all this energy creation na all of this happened na in one second <laughs> yes you know all this energy was separated from one another all this you know quarks were formed all these quarks were formed into matter and anti matter they started clashing with one another hydrogen helium had you know when the quarks and all everything was formed everything just happened in one second only yeah, all the battles and everything was very very quick you know within one second the matter defeated <laughs> anti matter you know and once this in you know, a protons and everything were formed na it took 380000 years to in you know, a the universe to cool down so on you know, a hydrogen helium can be formed so all this battling and everything happened in seconds and then we waited for in our know, universe to expand and slowly slowly cool for 380 years 80000 years so after 380000 years in hydrogen helium formed and then hydrogen helium slowly slowly started creating the entire universe there is more to it you know there is like if you get into details you know, there is more details in you know, a gluons you know and all the subatomic particles are so confusing to me but the simplest thing i understood like small energy created particles particles you know created in you know, a subatomic particles subatomic particles created atoms and you know, atom there was battle between different types of atoms in you know, antimatter and matter matter one then matter created everything so what we have understood you know from both science and religion that we are like not just part of universe but we are the entire universe you know we are like made from stardust you know and that is true we are earlier like part of one giant compact thing and then everything was created you know yeah. we are actually the entire universe is you know connected to one another like we are one huge family maybe in future this theory can be proven wrong we don't know like there is still like people trying to figure out whether this is correct or not you know 
steady state theory was there before this you know where they said every the entire universe was since the beginning let me know what you believe in you know? a which theory do you think is true in you know? a steady state theory where universe was there since the beginning or big bang theory when there was nothing and all of a sudden everything started coming around or do you believe that god was there first and then god created everything you know too many unanswered questions you know like i always think about this thing what is going on what is not even though this is very like complicated you know when i get into this you know scientific stuff you know all these new new words you know confuse me a lot you know you know then i first read the big bang theory I like what is going on you know i never heard about this quarks and anti matter and everything i had to like get into definition of everything <laughs> but in a more you try to learn about it na more you will understand and there are so many like interesting things you know you know we have nothing better to do other than understanding ourselves you know what do you believe <laughs> now that's interesting <laughs> so are you more scientific or are you religious oh <laughs> that's nice <laughs>